gonna take you there. Hi and welcome, or welcome back. And if you are new here, I am TK, and this is a lifestyle channel that focuses on attainable fashion, handbags, beauty, and all things luxury, but always, always at a minimal cost. If this is something that interests you, take a moment and hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so that you will never miss an upload from me. And go over to my social media pages for all of my daily uploads. Hey, my babes, I hope you are doing well today. I am back again with a styling video along with some inspired luxury that I would love to show you. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video. And before we get started, I would like to thank Lydia's First Bags for sponsoring this portion of the video. They sent me over one item that I would love to show you. And without any more rambling on, let's just go ahead and get on with this unboxing. I would like to thank Lydia's First Bags for sponsoring this portion of the video. They sent me over the Chloe Pale Blue Croc Emboss Leather Abbey Lock crossbody bag and when they sent this bag over they came over in the Chloe box and let's just get into this bag this bag is cross embossed with the gold Chloe it has a gold top handle and chain with this key that is not functioning but it gives that this is the reason why they call it a lock because this bag gives you the illusion that it is a lock bag and this bag can be worn crossbody or you can tote this bag as a top handle which I'm pretty sure I will be toting this bag top handle. I thought this bag was so different before, and I went into like Fashion File and The Real Real and Farfetch and this is to see if I can find this bag which I did and this bag originally runs for about $1,800 and I just thought that this bag was unique. I love, love the croc emboss detailing. I love how they featured it to make this bag look like it was a lock, a large lock with the key. And as I said, this shiny gold feature with the emboss lock detailing to the bottom. And yes, one thing I have to tell you about this bag they no longer have this bag. So when they sent me this bag, I think they sent me the last one because when I went back on the site to get the links prepared for you all, they didn't have it up there. It said, sorry, not available. So I'm sorry this bag is not available, but I still wanted to show you. And when this bag does come available, I will reach out to Lydia Bag for them to give me a working link once they have this bag back in stock. If any of you girls are interested, just drop a comment below that you're interested in the Chloe bag and I will reach out to the seller to see if they can get more of these bags. And thanks again to Lydia's First Bag for sponsoring this portion of the video. And for this portion of the video, I would like to thank Hazel Luxury for sponsoring us. Hazel Luxury, I have worked with them many times in the past and they sent me over one item that I would love to show you. And without further ado, let's just get into this unboxing. Box. came with receipts and a dust bag. Let's 
let's just get into this cute bag. This bag is in this suede cocoa brown color. And they, they're calling this bag a mini, which it is mini, but to me it's not really mini if you are one that loves to carry these types of bags. And it does have this little detailing here that actually holds the bag together, but I just have it on one so that I'm able to get in and out of the bag. And with the gold Prada logo here, and let's just get into this bag. And this is how it looks in the inside. So it is pretty deep and my phone goes in there pretty well. So, and it's hidden and I still have room or multiple items if I would like. And it does come with a detachable gold chain if you would like to detach this. I'm pretty sure that I probably won't even use this gold chain. So if I wear this, I would probably wear this out somewhere casually with a chocolate brown monochromatic outfit on where I can just have this by my side or even just holding it this way. I think that this is a cheap casual night out on the town bag. This is not one that I would wear as a sporty look, but I'm pretty sure you fashion girlies, you can hook this up in a way that you can wear it any type of way. But for me, I would wear this if I'm going out on a dinner date. If you are interested in this mini suede bag from Prada, I will have it all linked below. And thank you to Hazel Luxury for sponsoring this portion of the video. Thank you to everyone who stayed through the two luxury inspired finds that I had. And thank you again to Lydia's First Bags and Hazel Luxury for sponsoring those portions of the video. Now we're on to Style We. Shout out to Style We for sponsoring this portion of the video. They sent me over six pieces that I would love to show you. And I will have a split screen so that you can see what they actually sent me. I've worked with them two other times in the past, so I happily obliged to um, pick some pieces off of their site to show you all. And to me, Style We is more of affordable, fa fast fashion. And I don't wanna say this because it's not just for, to me, women over 40, it's for any woman because I look at it as the mature woman when it's just your grown woman style when you, you're going out to nice casual dinners, you're going out to events and functions and the holidays coming up, Christmas parties, you know, all these different holiday functions. I feel like style, we have that type of selection that is needed when you want to look like a mature grown woman. So let's just go ahead and get into this portion of the video. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk about what I have on right now. Let me back up a little bit. And this is, this top is the Urban One Shoulder Zipper False Leather Top. And this is in the color Army Green. I picked this top up in an L in a size large, which is a 12 to a 14. I am a little busty, so I do upsize on my shirts. And I just love the detailing of this. And I am looking at my phone for just notes on this. This top is made out of 45% cotton, 55% um, faux leather, which I just love it. It does have a little stretch to it, which that's what I love about this top. I love this army green color. It is a great for the fall season. It does have this silver zipper detailing if you want. And it also zips up on the side and in the cutaway, you can see how I styled it. And I have these jeans that, and I styled it just the way how the model styled it. Um, these pants are called the Vintage Loose Long O-Line Regular Jeans and denim blue and I did pick these up in a medium 8 to 10. I wish, I wish I would have picked these up in a large 12 to 14 because I love the way how on the model it has that baggy look and that's what I wish I would have went for. And I just styled this with these gold heels that I had picked up from Shein a couple Probably about a couple months ago, I those heels are so comfortable. Love how this style turned out. And if you are interested, I will have it linked. So moving on to this next item, um, you'll see the screen cutaway. This is the lapel collar plaid urban blazer. And I also paired this with 
the same with the pants i picked up the trousers they were the plaid urban ankle branded pants and i picked up the blazer in a size large 12 to a 14 i picked up the trousers in a medium 8 to 10 and i just love love the quality of this like i said i just picked up both the the set which it doesn't come in a set which i was bummed about you have to purchase these separately. So this is the blazer. The blazer does come with um, buttons on the sleeve. It does have this double breasted detailing and it is lined, which that's what I love. They have functioning pockets that are actually real. I also, picked, like I said, picked it up with the matching trousers. I love the detailing on these trousers how the front just has this overlapping detail and on the back it does have elastic elasticated waist it does have pockets and at the bottom it has button detailing that you can button and unbutton and yes if you are interested i will make sure i have it linked below in the description box and for this next piece that i picked up from them which was the Urban Color Block Lapel Collar Blazer, which I love a men's type of tuxedo blazer. I think these blazers are chic. I think they are very unique. I love to see a woman in men's styled clothes, men styled looking clothes because that, that masculine look along with that femininity of a woman when you, she just sets it off with the heels, bags, and accessories, it just chef's kiss. I shout out to any woman that can rock a male suit because I think they look amazing. This is double breasted, as you can see in the cutaway. And what I styled it with, I just styled it with, styled it with these pair of trousers, um, these pair of sequence trousers that I picked up from Style We in a previous collaboration I had with them actually lined in the inside i love a blazer that is lined in the inside i hate getting these blazers that don't have any lining in the inside when i thought about this pair together i thought about holiday parties i just thought that it would be amazing for a holiday get together and i just paired it with a pair of my I just paired it with a pair of patent leather Christian Louboutins just for that look. And I also paired it with this Chanel patent leather um, flat bag, which I wish that I had a clutch that was patent leather without a strap because I wouldn't want to wear this with a, this outfit with a strap. I would want to do a clutch. But because I played off the patent leather Louboutins, I felt like... I needed a patent leather bag just to play off those sequin pants. And if you are interested in that lapel blazer, I will have it linked below. Last but not least, I picked up this Urban Lapel Collared Plaid Blazer, which it is in that tweed material, which I love. And I just love this rich green. I just love that it is lined with this rich green color just to bring it out. And I just styled this with a cream, like a cream beige cami to go underneath with a black and gold belt. I styled it also to play off my Saint Laurent pumps as well as a Saint Laurent clutch to go with it. Adding it as a casual sporty way by putting it with those barrel black jeans, it just, to me, it just played off well. It does have weight on it, so you are getting quality, and it has buttons on the side. It has a functioning pocket. It is lined on the inside. I like to play it off with how I'm styling it with it open. I don't want it closed. I didn't want it closed because I felt like that sporty look, the blazer needed to be open. And yes, if you are interested in any of these pieces that was sent to me by Style We. I will make sure I have them all linked in the description box below, along with my discount code for you all to receive 18% off your purchase. And thank you to Style We for sponsoring this portion of the video. I would like to announce the winner for the handbag giveaway. And the winner is 
Janine C. It's at JanineC.915. Janine, please DM me on Instagram with all of your contact information so that I can send you out this amazing bag. And thank you to everyone who entered the handbag giveaway. I wish I can give all of you a handbag. I truly do because I can, I won't be, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you with all of your love and support from my channel. And there will be many, many more handbag giveaways. I'm going to start doing jewelry giveaways as well. Because once I get all these items in, I technically don't need this stuff. So I just rather give back to you all to show my gratitude and my thanks to all for supporting and loving on me. I mean, this community, my community is growing every day and I couldn't do it without you all. Your comments, I read every comment that comes through and they're always so genuinely sweet and nice and it just, it just gives me chills. It just does something to me right now. Like I'm, I just feel giggly inside because it's just so amazing just to have people that don't even really know you to surround you and love you and support your brand and what you're trying to build. And I just want to let you all know, you know, if you are interested in this content creating world, just do it. Don't wait. If I would have done this 10 years ago, like I wanted to do it, I can imagine where I would be right now, just for this short time of being on YouTube for over a year and you know, over 10,000 subscribers in, in a less than in, you know, in a year. I am just so grateful to you all. And before, you know, I'm getting emotional, but I'm not going to ramble on. I just want to thank everyone again who stayed to the end of this video. And don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all of my social media pages. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.